As a contractor, I submit a lot of invoices and many of the time I'm invoicing every single week and majority of the time it's on a Friday. Sometimes I do it Saturday. So Monday through Friday is when I log in the hours. And when I'm invoicing every week uh, and you have three or four clients, it gets pretty tedious in filling out all of the, the base uh, data. And so I would say the most tedious part the template is the same. I mean, this invoice template is the same. I changed the client name and then I put in the hours, but I have to change the date range for every single invoice template that I use. And a lot of the times I get confused on the date. I don't, sometimes I get confused which day is the Monday and then which, which day is the Friday. And I always have to refer back to the calendar to do that. And doing that three or four times, every single time you're submitting an invoice or prepping to submit an invoice gets pretty tedious. And I always wanted to figure out how to create a formula that will automatically populate all of this given maybe just one of the days. And I finally found it. And here's the template. I, I've, I sent the link to the template if you want to follow along. I sent the link to the template if you want to follow along. And I'll also attach the template with the formula in case you don't even want to follow along and you just want the template. So what you want to do is first put the actual date that you want to start the date range. And we're not going to put it here. We're going to actually put it somewhere. Let's put it right below this here. And so we want to submit an invoice for this particular week. This particular week starts uh, one nine so i'm going to put one nine oops i need to change the font 23 let's change the color of the font and then we need to figure out the formula that goes there all right so remember this date range here or remember the cell this is a six and this is the formula uh that's going to do all of the magic and i'll put the formula under the description and i'll also put it here so the formula is, I'm going to paste it here, is this here. It's equal sign text, and then you have the cell number, comma, and then the dates with the ampersand, with the hyphen, uh, ampersand text, and the rest of the information here. And so let's go over what that does. We have the text. A6 represents the data range or the data cell, so A6. And you need to put an ampersand if you want to put the hyphen in here. And so uh, we have the ampersand and then you have another ampersand to represent the, the date range. And you, have, you see we have A6 plus 5. 5 means that we're going to add 5 days after 1-9. And then we're going to put it in the format of uh, months, days, and years. Okay, hit return. And we have the date range. You have 1.9 through 1.14. And then you want to change, if you want to change that to a Sunday, you can just add A6 plus 6. If you want that to be a Friday, you could do A6 plus 4. And so that is the date range. That's it. That's the formula. And then if you want to also auto populate the invoice number. I usually have the invoice number to be the same date as the last date range. And so here I used to just manually type it in every single time for all the invoices. But now what you want to do here is also a simple formula. And I'm going to delete that and I'm going to paste the new formula. I'll put that down in the description as well. You have the equal sign, you have the hashtag in qu quotations, and then you have the ampersand to concatenate, meaning like combine together, the text. Text of that date range that we had earlier. So A6 plus five, and turn that into years, months, dates. And here you notice that I have the year first, that way the only the last numbers change for all the invoice numbers. Hit enter and you see we have 23 for the year 0114. And for me, I know this is going to save me a good amount of time, helps me become more efficient. 
and I wanted to share this with you guys because I've been looking for this formula for quite some time and I finally found it. Hope this helps.